Let's stay within the education sector for a moment with this next story, where top Ministry of Education officials are camping in Naivasha, executing this year's Form 1 selection ahead of release of the results in two weeks' time. Now, unlike previous years, the Ministry is grappling with an increased number of candidates against limited capacity in secondary schools, while the COVID-19 pandemic has necessitated rethinking of spacing at learning institutions. Sam Gitoku reports of schools, capacity and what to be expected in the next major test for KCP 2020 candidates. Unlike previous years when Form 1 selection begins a few days after release of KCP results, this season the assignment has been taken up a little late, more than one and a half months since release of the results. A team from the Ministries of Education and ICT has now congregated in Ivasha to allocate the 1.18 million KCP candidates to the different schools. As per the KCPA 2019 Form 1 selection, there were 33,009 slots in national schools, 184,000 slots in extra county schools, and a further 188,000 slots in county schools. At the sub county schools, 669,000 slots were available, while a further 777 slots were at special needs education schools. The class then was 1,083,000 candidates, 8,000 of them not placed as they were inmates, refugees, or over eight candidates. Should the January 2020 capacity remain, then 103,991 candidates could miss places in Form 1. Over the past few years, all candidates scoring 400 marks and above find places in national schools. Should the trend remain, the 8,091 candidates that scored 400 marks and above could secure places in the top cadre schools. Top 10 candidates in every sub-county, being five boys and five girls, have also been securing places in national schools of their choice. With 335 sub-counties, at least 3,350 candidates will be offered places. A balance of more than 21,000 slots will remain even after the two considerations, meaning candidates that scored 300 marks and above could find places in the national schools. Cumulatively, top cadre schools, big national schools, extra county and county schools account for 406,000 slots. Candidates that scored 300 marks and above were 290,000. If all of them joined the top cadre schools, more than 100,000 learners that scored less than 300 marks could find places in at least the county schools. A headache for the selection team faced with the litany of expectations, especially of the more than 8,000 that scored 400 marks and above, who expect to learn not just national schools, but the schools of their choice. In the selection following KCPA 2019, it became apparent that over 111,000 girls had applied to join Pangani girls, but there were only 336 slots. 83,000 candidates had applied to join Alliance High School that had only 384 slots. 49,000 girls had selected to join the Kenya High. The school had only 336 slots. Even though the list of likely candidates reduced upon the results, the clamor for top cadre schools is immense. You select Bangani and then you select Kenya High School. But I can't call my children stupid, but they are not wise. Yet you are supposed to select 11. So when you have already committed suicide yourself, we shall place you where you did not choose. To select candidates to national schools, the selection team in December 2019 considered the merit of candidates, their choices and capacity of respective schools. They also considered the value of equity to ensure national schools have the face of Kenya and that all regions got a fair share in the top cream institutions. The 100% transition now in its third year may prove a hurdle for the Minister of Education, which is faced with a larger class of 1.18 million. 747,000 KCSE candidates cleared from the secondary schools in April. The schools now require to create nearly half a million new spaces. And as schools grapple with social distancing requirements to contain COVID-19 spread, the burden of how to safely accommodate the class of 2020 at a time expansion of infrastructure has remained minimal is heavier. Sam Gitukos Rezen TV, Nairobi.